Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, it's Sugar Ashley. And today I decided that I wanted to do a What I Eat in a Day vlog, pregnancy edition. So if you watched my announcement video, I had mentioned that, of course, I'm about, well, then I was 20 weeks pregnant. Now I'm 21 weeks pregnant. And I, you know, I am trying my best. You know, before the pregnancy, I was trying to do a weight loss journey. And now I am just trying to keep it somewhat under control as I finish out the last, what, 19 weeks of this pregnancy, however many weeks is left. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to try to watch what we eat. There's definitely been days when I've had cravings out of this world and ate things that I probably should not have eaten, eaten, whatever. But today I just figured let's just kind of go through the day. Maybe that'll hold me a little bit more accountable for what we're going to eat. And yes, I do have my little Pippi long stockings, little you did going on, whatever. <laughs> but you're going to follow me. I'm going to probably not fast today. We'll see. It's about 8.18 in the morning. Uh, I've been up for a little bit working. I'm at work right now, as you can see. So much fun working every day. But, um... I'm going to probably make breakfast in a little bit. The kitties are home today. Bailey's doing school from home and my son is asleep. So when he wakes up, I will probably make, the, well, I'm not probably, I'm going to make them breakfast and then maybe I'll make myself something and I'll document everything that I'm doing. I'm going to definitely try to keep it low carb, closer to keto-ish. It's going to be a 50-50 kind of thing. I'm not going to go super crazy, super hard on counting calories and macros and carbs and all of that, but I will be mindful today. So... Ride along with me today and see what I eat. Okay, y'all. So it is 12 o'clock and I'm getting ready to take my lunch and take a break from work. And one thing I'm trying to make sure I get in today is my water. I added some strawberries and lemons to it. And of course, it's got the cute little sands, you know, ready to go with the times and stuff and i just filled this up I, I haven't started on it at eight it's 12 so i gotta catch up i gotta technically get here but that's not really anything with this i got this off of amazon of course where do i get all things and it's really cute there's a little button pops open so just wanted to show y'all that this is how i'm gonna get 64 ounces in today and if two of these if i can get down two of these that'd be my whole gallon um i think for lunch i'm gonna have i meant to have breakfast i just didn't get through to it I had a pack of uh, cashews, and I'll show y'all that later. Um, I just had a pack of cashews just to kind of hold me over because I was a little busy with work, and I couldn't really step away to make breakfast. And then the kids are here, so I had to make sure they were fed. So that's fine. I'm not starving, so I'm going to go ahead and have some some lunch, brunch, whatever. I think I want to do what I always do, which is a breakfast quesadilla, breakfast wrap. I've got a piece of bacon cooking, some sausage. I'm going to put an egg in it and hold that thought. Y'all got to answer the phone. Okay, sorry. I am back. That was nothing important. So we're officially taking lunch and I'm just showing you what I got going on in the skillet. Just one piece of thick cut applewood bacon, two pieces of sausage. I'm going to probably scramble up two eggs with that. And of course, use my, um, oh, I look dusty. Don't mind me. This is just my apple. <laughs> Work from home stuff. So not cute today. But um, scramble up two eggs, put that in my low carb wrap, little hot sauce, little cheese, and that will be my lunch. And that is a lot. It really fills me up. So I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Here's my breakfast, lunch. I really wish I would have put some avocado in here. That would have made it so much better, but I forgot to take my avocado down. I cut up my avocado when I don't eat it all at once and freeze it and just thaw it out as I need. It comes out just fine. It does turn brown, but that's avocado anytime. I'm gonna eat my little breakfast burrito, which is very meaty. Cheese, sausage, eggs, bacon. And I'm going to dose it in my Louisiana.
Okay, y'all, so I'm still on my lunch and I was looking through my phone after I finished eating and I saw, I have an app on my phone for my doctor's appointments. It's called um, My Chart or something. I go to OSF, Little Company and Mary. So they have a system, an application where you can, you know, monitor your appointments. You can monitor, you know, how your appointments went. They put like the little end notes in there, all that good stuff, test results, whatever. So I have my ultrasound coming up next week on the 18th i'll be going to you know figure out the sex of the baby and everything like that and then what it also has in there is the bills now for anybody who's had a kid before or if you just deal with insurance period you know that most if not all of the doctor's appointments like the the testing the prenatal care that's all covered 100 percent under your health insurance now if you got medicare you're probably getting everything for free and that is i'm i'm jealous me personally i'm jealous but I have health insurance through my employer. And, you know, every other child I've had, like I have so many, but my two previous children, they've covered everything. Come to find out, I've got bills in there. They are charging me the copay, co-insurance, not copay, co-insurance. And if you don't know what that is, is they only pay so much. Insurance is not really insurance. Insurance is BS. They only pay like 80%. And that's if you got a good plan. I don't know, maybe some other companies out there have better plans, but my little funky company and all the insurance I've ever had, they only pay up to like 80% of the services. And then whatever is left over is your responsibility. So all the while, I did not know that they were charging me whatever that 20 percentage was, what 20% was. And I called to find out why they're charging me because I've never had like bills like that before. If it's something extra, like if you have to see a specialist, then yeah, I get it. But I haven't seen a specialist. I've just been seeing my OB. They have been marking my stuff, all of my charts as high risk. And I would get that because I am chunky. I'm a little heavy. But I've been heavy with any other pregnancy. And I've never been charged like that. So I have to go in and figure out at my next appointment why she's marking my parts like that you're costing me extra money lady like literally every visit i gotta pay 20 percent. i have to go to at least 12 visits and then no you have to go once every four weeks in the beginning but like when you get closer to the end of your pregnancy you have to go every two weeks then every week i'm not gonna pay for every visit like that that's ridiculous that's what am I paying my premium for if I have to still pay for each visit? I know I'm frustrated and like Vincent and y'all, y'all probably like, who cares? But if you got insurance and if you got kids or you've got medical medical bills or situations, period, you understand what I'm going through. This stuff adds up. And then come to find out my ultrasound, they're charging me $600. What? I have never been charged, never been charged for an ultrasound. You need an ultrasound. An ultrasound is not, it's not optional i wasn't told it's an option i mean if you get like a 4d ultrasound i get that because that's extra that's something special but as a doctor you need to check on the anatomy of my child at this point just to not only tell me the sex but just to see if they weight is fine if they're doing okay why the i really want to curse but my family watches this why in the world are y'all charging me like this is something extra and unusual so i'm gonna have to fight my insurance company on this because this is just ridiculous it makes me not want to even find out the sex of the baby it makes me not want to even have like i have the 600 dollars, but i don't want to give it to y'all for doing what y'all supposed to do y'all i'm so annoyed so annoyed with insurance it kind of pissed me off to the point where i almost i did cry but it pissed me off because it doesn't make sense so that's just my vent i gotta go back to work now with this on my mind and i don't know how i'm gonna fix it i don't know how i'm gonna get past it just Makes you not want to have kids because as we keep going further and further, the way this country and these corporations go and these businesses, they are not looking to take care of you. They're just doing the bare minimum. Here, take this little insurance, pay us our money, and still you got to pay bills after everything you do. Makes you not want to even go to the doctor. So, oh, let me just try to relax on what's left of my lunch and I go back to work. Hopefully, I won't let this affect me too much, but stuff like that just bothers me because it just doesn't make sense. I'll see y'all at dinner time. Okay, so I'm coming back real quick. It's 4 o'clock, about 4.15, and I'm still working. I'm getting ready to get off this computer, though. I'm not trying to work no longer. Um, But I wanted a little snack. I had lunch at five, no, 12 o'clock, so it's time for a little snack. And all it is is a cheese stick and some honey ham. Now, I know I'm pregnant. I'm not supposed to have it. 
listeria, all that, whatever. Um, I've been having it with no problem so far, so a little won't hurt. It's a small snack, so I'm going to enjoy this two together. Really low-carb option right here. And I will see y'all at dinner. All right, y'all, it is dinner time. So I wanted to get rid of these chicken wings I had in my deep freezer. Who doesn't like chicken wings? Uh, what I'm gonna do is I've rinsed them off and I'm drying them down because I'm gonna put them in the air fryer to give that crispiness to it. And you wanna have them you know, bone dry before you put them in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these seasonings. I've got some grill mates, apple wood rub. I really like this. I'm gonna, of course, add just a splash of my Lowry's to it. Can't go wrong with Lowry's. A little black pepper, maybe a little onion powder. We'll see. Um, and I'm just gonna put that on the chicken, throw it in the air fryer. And I think I'm gonna have some leftover greens with them. I had them in the freezer. We're going, this is a lazy meal. I'm gonna take those out of the freezer, probably defrost them. I'm gonna have a serving for me. The kids really don't eat them that much. I'm gonna figure out what exactly they would like to eat. And I'm gonna probably find, I may try to find something else, but for me, if I don't do the greens, I'll do like a side salad and figure out what to give them because they're pretty picky when it comes to eating. And I know they'll eat the chicken, especially because I'm gonna put barbecue sauce on them after they come out of the air fryer. Then I'll put them back in the air fryer so they get a little sticky, a little tacky. And uh, I don't know, I'm gonna figure out for them. Y'all, comment down below if you got kids that are just unreasonably picky when it comes to food. We tried to force feed them into eating stuff. Doesn't work. Tried to, you know, just introduce them to new things. They just are awful. They're awful. Um, <laughs> I can't even really think of nothing else to say. I'm going to just season them now with my little paper towel. And I'm going to rub that all on there, flip them over to the other side. And one thing people use and I use, it doesn't give it a lot of crispiness but a little baking powder if you put just a little bit on there it does help the skin get a tad bit crispier not too much but it does make it you know a little more like actual fried chicken so i'm going to show you guys what my meal looks like when i am done cooking I'll be right back All right, it's dinner time, last meal of the day, and this is what I'm having. Barbecue chicken that I did in the air fryer and just a side Caesar salad. And yes, there are croutons on there, but whatever. I'm gonna have my buble with it. And I promise you this is gonna be very filling. It smells amazing, y'all. So I'm ready to just dive right in, tear this meal up, and that'll be it for the day. All right, y'all, so thank you for going through this whole video with me, my whole day of eating, pregnancy edition. I do appreciate you guys for watching. If you subscribe, thank you very much. I appreciate all my subscribers. I'm getting on up there. It doesn't seem like much, but I'm almost at 100. I'll take it, you know. Just keep watching. I have new content for you guys every Friday. I'm trying to do it at 12 p.m., but you know, life just gets in the way sometimes. So I'm making sure I get the video up at 12, uh, not at 12, but... <laughs> at least on Friday. So thank you guys for watching. 
Love you very much and see you next weekend for my next video. Bye.